All right, so the exciting part. Let's go into the actual hardware here, and uh, maybe you could give us a review of all the different components. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what we'll do here, I'm going to pick this up. And so with our device here, on the front of the device, you'll notice that we have a series of different cameras and sensors on the device. This is, this is we call this the Lightware? The Lightware, yes. I'm sorry, this is the Lightware. <laughs> yes. We have our Light Pack, and we also have our Control. And so with these different components, this is basically everything uh, that you need to run the device. Uh, in the box, you'll also have some things like chargers, right? But mm -hmm, ultimately, mm -hmm. this is everything required for the platform. And so on the front of the device here, as we mentioned, we've got different cameras and sensors. So those are what are tracking the environment to help the content interact with the real world. Um, and so there's also an LED sensor light on there that'll help other people understand, you know, exactly what you're doing with the device. Um, so really make so more So if you're awareness. recording, there'll yeah, be an indication. Voice, or if you're yeah, recording yeah. Uh, any audio or, or actual video, we want people to know that you're actually recording. Sure, right? right. So we've got different elements around that. And then we also do have a world camera on the device. So if you, have, if you wanted to take pictures with your device, you'll have that opportunity as well. And so on this, let me just stand up real quick here. And so on this here, on the device, you'll notice that we've got on the sides here, there are actually some inward um, you know, audio. So with that audio on the device, you've got spatialized audio. You can hear things within the world as if they were physically there. So if there were a door in the back of the room and somebody shut the door, it would sound like you actually you know, like it actually shut in the back of the room. Mm -hmm. um, and so with that, on the inside of the device here, um, you'll also notice, let me just get, get there, there we go. So you can see here that on the front of the device here on the inside, we do actually have some inward facing cameras that are looking at your eyes. And so basically that'll help with, um, you know, looking at where your eyes are, where you're focused on the world. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we go through some features later on. Um, and so with that, we also do have some microphones built into this device. So you'll notice here on the sides of the device, we do have some microphones so that you can, you know, record that audio within the world. Um, and so that's pretty much the components on the lightware itself. And so can we talk about the speakers for a second there? So they don't, they don't actually plug into your ears like a, like a pair of headphones. So much in the same way that we described, the, uh, the light fields uh, allow you to see the real world and digital content. We also talk about sound field in a way, right? So you can yes. hear ambient sound within the world, plus the, I'll say, digital audio. Yes, right. so the, the sound field actually uh, has been one of the, the more exciting pieces of, of the technology to come to life. So with our light field technology, being able to see the content in the world, with the sound field, it really actually makes the experience. There, you need to have that audio really sync with the content to make it feel like it's coexisting. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also, you know, it's basically audio that you can hear the environment at the same time as your digital content. Right. So we want you to be able to interact with the real world at the same time as your content to make it really feel like it's it's coexisting, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so great feature on the product from an audio perspective. Our team did a fabulous job on that. Um, and so what we have also then with our light pack, and so on the light pack here, you'll notice on the front of the device here that we've got our power button. And so ultimately the power button is how you're going to turn on your device. So when you first get the device, you would actually hit that button there. Um, and then on the top of the device here, you're going to notice that right about here we've got that auxiliary jack. So we do have an option so that you can use, um, you know, in-ear earbuds as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, make it a more private viewing experience. Sure, sure. If you're watching a movie or something like that, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so we do have our volume buttons here on the inside as well. So the one closest to your actual auxiliary button is your up, and then you, right next to it, you've got your down on your volume. And so um, with that, you'll kind of notice that this is it's pretty small, right? So we are going to put this thing on a little bit, but we're going to go through a couple more features first. Um, on the front of the device here, we actually have a USB-C. So this is utilized for things like charging. But if our developers actually wanted to utilize it as an input method as well, they can plug our, our light pack into their laptop and actually you know, input content directly to the device. Right. So as I'm developing in Unity, as I'm developing in Unreal or you know, through C with my own engine, I can deploy directly to the device through standard USB cables. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And so, you know, we do that a lot throughout the demos today. If you've got to onboard some content real quick, we'll just plug it in, mm -hmm. and you can basically just, you know, download your content right away. Um, and then right now, we've got our control. So with the control, this is basically your handheld component that you'll be using uh, to interact with the device. So on here, we again have our power button here. This also works as our home button. So if you think about you know, how you're going to pull up your launcher every time, it's very much like the home button on most of the cell phones out there today. You hit the button and your launcher will appear, and that gives you the opportunity to then select different applications on the device. Uh, here we've got our touchpad. So with our touchpad, we do have some different LED sensors that are on that touchpad. They'll help show you where you need to actually um, you know, interact with different content, utilize it for things like scaling, um, you know, other components there for you. So the, the LED you know, pad on the sides of it will actually help you uh, understand where to click on the device. 
And then on the front side, I'm sorry, yeah, absolute front here, we've got what we call a bumper. So with the bumper, you're going to utilize that as um, you know, a way to kind of you know, interact with your content as well. You've got your trigger on the underside. So basically, you would be holding it with your thumb on the top side, your pointer finger on the bottom side here. All right. And so that is our control. And so uh, a number of interchangeable features as well on yes. the Lightwear? So on the Lightwear, um, there are a couple different pieces that we have that are interchangeable. So we wanted to make sure that this device was really going to be comfortable for our users and, and would really give you the proper fit and help distribute the weight. And so on the top of the device here, right? At, it, we call this our brow pad, right? So with the brow pad, we have a thinner option as well to really make sure that you've got that proper fit, proper comfort. So you'll have an option on that one, and then we've got our nose pad here as well. And so with the nose pad, it will be shipping with multiple different um, you know, variations of the nose piece that will really extend the device differently on the Y axis to make sure it's properly aligned for things like eye tracking. And so you, know, you want to make sure you've got best comfort here, but also for proper fit, you want to make sure that you've got that, you know, the best nose piece in there. Uh, there's a couple other pieces we would just want to mention here. We are working with a partner on those prescription lenses. Mm -hmm. So there is an option on the inside of the device where the de it will actually you know, click right into the device. Um, we know that you know, we, a lot of po population has glasses, right? We want to make sure that this device is something that everyone can wear and that we're inclusive to everyone. So having that prescription lens is extremely important to us. So we're super excited about our partners that are working on that one. Um, and then there is one other component, which is our strap. So we do have an optional strap if you wouldn't, you know, if you didn't have pockets for some reason, that you could utilize this strap. Or if you were wearing, uh, you know, gym shorts, for instance, uh, it does, you know, the compute. You know, since you're going to clip it onto you, you want to make sure that you've got it on there pretty well. Sure. All right, great. So um, we went through all of this good stuff here, checking my notes. And all right, I think it's time to go ahead and put, put this thing, thing on. on. Yeah, all right. Try to wear it. Okay, so first, normally what I advise our guests to do is I always start with the light pack. And so with the light pack, you'll notice that there's kind of this slit in there, right? And so the slit is basically where your pocket is going to fit into it. There are some bubbles in there for stabilization. So we want to make sure that when you put this in your pocket that it's not going to come out of your pocket as you're moving throughout the environment. Since this is a very mobile platform, we want you to be able to move throughout the environment without worrying about, you know, cables or anything like that, right? So they give a little grip at, onto the, the pocket yes. material, right? So you'll notice here as I go to put this on, as I put it into my pocket, you're basically going to bring it down and it clicks into place. Now, let me mention real quick that with that optional strap, they're fabulous, but you also have an option. You can put it in a back pocket. Um, we do utilize it in the front pocket normally, but ultimately it doesn't matter what pocket you use it on. It is not designed to go on a belt, though. So this is one of those that you want to put it into your pocket. It's really designed to stay pretty pretty like snug in your pocket. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that this is a computer. Yes. And uh, it does have... Um, you know, thermal exhaust on it, right? Like it's vented, yes. right? You probably so, don't want to slip it. No, you don't want to put in, the right? whole thing in your pocket. So <laughs> basically on the on the on this actual compute here on the light pack, we are actually pulling cool air from the environment and pushing hot air out through the other Great. side. So you want the device to be able to breathe, right? It's mm -hmm. like trying to run a computer in a tent, you know, it's, it's <laughs> not always the best idea, right? But so um, with our lightware now, we're going to move along to this piece here. So with the lightware on the back of the device here, I, you're going to want to grab it on the back side. And as you open, you'll notice this expands. So with that expansion, you're actually going to bring the device up and over. So as you pull it down, it's going to come down to your nose. And you'll notice I still have it expanded here. This is where you're going to push it together. And so you really want it to be angled so it's more at the crown of your head, not down, you know, kind of like a pair of sunglasses. And then you bring your cable behind you. And so basically, this is the entire device. You want it to really kind of be level on your nose. You want it to be slightly at that pitch here in the back. And then you push together. And then you've got your control. And so that is the entire platform. All right. So um, you have it on. Now you're going to you power it up. To, once, yep. once creators get their devices, they'll power them up. And what happens next? So uh, once they power it on, they're going to see kind of an intro uh, sequence show up upon boot. And then at that point, you're going to go through your out-of-box experience. So throughout out of box, uh, basically you're going to start by pairing your totem, your control, sorry. Um, and so you'll pair your control first. And then from that point, it's going to take you through some different uh, you know, studies for fit to make sure you've got the proper angle. So I've gone through our out of box experience previously and really kind of angled it properly for the best fit for me. Um, once you go through the fit, then you're actually going to go through an eye calibrator. So the device is going to understand and track where your eyes are in the world so that you, then the content could actually interact with it. Right. Uh, and see, uh, Wi-Fi setup, we go through Wi-Fi, yeah. we get connected, uh, which then provides access to Magic Leap World, yes? Exactly. Right. 
So maybe you could talk about what Magic Leap World is. So Magic Leap World is basically our app store. So we have um, introduced different information in the developer portal on how to create applications for the device. And so ultimately, Magic Leap World is, is going to be how you're going to download those apps to your device.